Hey, happy Wednesday, Calvary. It's Pastor Chad here with your word for the day, and we're looking at Proverbs chapter 18. And uh, as we kick this day off, let me ask you this question. Have you ever been falsely accused of something? You know, if somebody was talking about you and, and mentioned that you had done something or said something that you really hadn't, uh, it's frustrating, isn't it? Uh, how about this question? Have you ever listened to some, somebody's accusation about another person? Have you heard them and you've, you've listened to it and you've gone, oh, I don't, I, it's hard to believe. But then instead of checking it out, you, you shared that with somebody else. You know, that's called gossip and it's kind of condemned by God. And we've all been guilty of that at some point in our lives of sharing unvalidated information. Uh, you see, through the years, I've heard many of accusations about leaders at Calvary. Just things that people said that uh, had you know, to do with their relationships or had to do with their belief systems or had to do with their integrity. And, uh, and some of those were true and some of those were false. And I've learned through the years, through wisdom and through Proverbs, how to deal with that kind of situation. So that's what I want to share with you today out of Proverbs chapter 18, verse 17, where Solomon says, the one who states his case first seems right until the other comes and examines him. The, the one who, who states their case first always seems right until the other person shows up and says, well, here's my side of the story. Maybe you've heard the, the statement that there's always three sides to the story, yours, mine, and what's right. Uh, that's kind of what Solomon is saying. You need to hear all the sides of the story before you make a decision. So here's my response. This is what I've learned to do. When somebody comes to me and says, hey, did you hear about so-and-so? Did you hear about this person or that person? Uh, they're doing this. They said this. They're going through this. And so now what I do is I listen, but then uh, before I do anything else, I ask the person who's being accused to respond. And, and usually if someone comes to my office and says, did you hear about so-and-so? I'll pick up the phone right then in that moment and call them to validate. I want to know, is this true? Which, by the way, was freaked some people out who were just gossiping. But uh, uh, I choose not to believe what is told me until I validate it with the person who's being accused. So uh, I, I don't want to share anything about somebody that doesn't fit their life. I want to give them a chance to respond. Because oftentimes it's misunderstanding or just a misinterpretation of the events. And... Uh, Especially, I want to validate it if it's out of character with somebody who's being accused. Uh, here's a couple examples that just have come from my life. Uh, first one has to do with Pastor Chet. A number of years ago, uh, uh, someone came to me, and I didn't know this man, but he made an appointment, and he came into my office, and he said, Hey, uh, I, I need to share this with you. Pastor Chet hates me, and, uh, and he's being really mean to me. And, and I listened and I said, that's not Chet Anderson. That's not him. I know his character. He loves people. He's fair with people. He's not going to treat you. He doesn't hate you. He's not angry at you. And the man said, oh, no, you're wrong. And I said, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to walk down the hall and I'm going to get Chet Anderson. And he's going to come down here and you guys are going to talk. And the man looked scared. He's terrified for a moment. I said, trust me. And I walked down and I said, Chet, I need you to come with me right now. Uh, there's a gentleman who believes that you're angry at him and that you have something against him. And Chet got up and he came to my office and like me, he didn't even know who this man was. And, and he sat down and the man shared with him what, you know, what he felt like Chet had done and Chet apologized, not because Chet had actually done anything, but simply because the man had perceived that Chet was angry at him. And, uh, and then they became friends and the man got involved in ministry for a while with Chet because we listened to both sides of the story. It's amazing what happens when you do that. Uh, for myself, uh, I was falsely accused years ago uh, when I was a teenager of causing an accident, uh, an automobile accident. And, and I hadn't caused the accident, uh, but uh, the investigating officer wasn't really interested in what I had to say. He simply made accusations and then we went to court. Uh, and uh, the, the judge listened to the witnesses one at a time and he heard three different stories about what had happened, and then he threw the case out. I never even had to testify. I never even had to share my version of the story because the other versions were so different. See, it's so important to validate before you believe 
something about someone, especially when you uh, are only hearing one side of the story. Now, I share that with you because I want us to be peacemakers. You know, Jesus said, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. I want you and me as followers of Jesus to be identified as being children of God. That means we need to be peacemakers. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we need to listen. We need to listen to people. Both sides of the story, by the way, not one side. Uh, the Apostle James in, in chapter 1, verse 19 of his letter says, uh, but everyone should do this. Be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger, because anger of man does not accomplish the righteousness that God desires. Quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger. So when a friend comes to you and starts complaining about another friend, don't just believe them and get angry with them. Say, hey, you know what? That's hard to believe about our friend. I want to hear what they say. And then, once you listen, then ask. Ask the questions. Hey, maybe you misunderstood. Are you sure that you heard them correctly? Let's validate that. And you ask the other person to get involved for the purpose of bringing peace and reconciliation. That's what we want to do. Because we want to be blessed, right? We don't want to live our lives like idiots. We want to be blessed. So blessed are the peacemakers. So uh, always understand that the one who states his case first seems right until the other comes and examines him. The only one who's right all the time is Jesus. We're his followers. Let's follow his example. Let's be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger, and let's hear both sides of the story before we figure out what we really believe. Uh, if you do that, you'll be blessed. And that's what I want. Have a great day, and uh, let's listen better than we ever have before.